everyone, it's Nisha. Um, I'm so glad to be here to talk to you. Um, I know I wasn't here last Monday. One, because it was um, Easter. Two, there were some other reasons. But um, before I start, before we have a chat, let me just show you what I'm wearing so I don't forget. So this company called Mooncat um, have sent me this cashmere sweater. Oh my God. And they are so, so affordable. Um, I will leave you the link. I'm not getting paid for it. I know, I think the link they gave me has my name in it, but I think it's just to see if anybody from my channel visited. Um, I'm not on commission or nothing. Uh, but they sell ladies and men's um, sweaters, and uh, cardigans, and also shawls and, and scarves, I think. And they are beautiful. You know how expensive cashmere jumpers are, well, at least here in the UK, uh, they are well over um, 120, 140 pounds. Uh, these retail for about 85, I think, if I'm on 95 dollars. So yeah, amazing, amazing value, as soft as anything. I think mine is crew neck in true pink, but I will um, put the name of my particular sweater in the description box as well. Mine is in a size medium. I will get up in a minute to show it to you. The fit is lovely, it's not really tight. I am UK size 12, I've got big boobs, so this is really plenty. It's not very fitted, you know, it's not tight, the medium one. I probably, if I wanted it to be really fitted, I probably could go with small. Um, but no, I'm really happy with it. It is so soft. It is pure cashmere, 100% cashmere. They come with few, in few colors. I'm not sure I like the crew neck, actually. I think, especially when you have big boobs, you should wear v-necks. But I don't think they had the v-neck in that color, and I really wanted to try this color. I know my nails don't go with it, but it doesn't matter. Um, please don't ask me about the necklace, because my mummy gave it to me, so I don't know where she got it. But let me get up and show you um, the sweater. Okay, I hope you can see it. So as you can see, it is plenty, you know, it's got plenty room in it. Um, yeah, it's not very tight, so it's not going to show your bumps or whatever. Um, but like I said, if you like it more fitted, you could go for small if you're around my size. So yeah, the fit is lovely. Um, the sleeves are quite long which I quite like. I prefer them to be longer than shorter because you can um, turn them up slightly. And I am five foot six. I'm I five foot five. I'm five foot five. I don't know what I am. I'm 165 centimeters, five five, yeah. So if you are taller, the, the sleeves won't be too, um, too long either, so yeah. I really, really love it. I love the colour and it is so soft. Yeah, so go and check them out. Anyway, uh, let's address the elephant in a room first. My hand. Okay, it's beautiful outside. It's getting warmer. I'm feeling the spring and I thought I am a bit pale. So I was um, out yesterday and I thought I can't be bothered yet to do the full self-tanning. Uh, my favorite self-tanners are mosses, you know, the farm ones. And I play with the mitt, with the color guide, and I'm happy, and I always do a really good job on myself. Now, sometimes around this time of year, I only want a bit, you know, on my neck, my decollete, and my hands, just the bits that you see. And I used to use uh, one of those L'Oreal, just a spray. It's a colorless sp spray, very fine. And I, just before I went to bed, I would spray on and I just have a tiny bit of color. So I was in Superdrug yesterday and I saw this. So I have never heard of it. It's called Sunkist Bronze Professional. And all I saw that it was a ready in 60 minutes spray. I didn't 
C that it said moisturizer spray tan. So it's a basically a moisturizer that has self tan in it. Um, it says that it dries in three minutes and in 60 minutes it has developed. I thought brilliant, I just spray that on. Well, when I got home and I read the instructions, it said spray it on, then take a mitt and rub it in. That's not what I was after in the first place. I wanted just fine mist, you know, fast free. It smells very pleasantly, it smells a bit of coconut, but the next day it smells like a spray tan. This morning I woke up and it smelled like a fake tan. I've had a shower and I've put, you know, um, body moisturizer, but you can still smell it a bit. Anyway, I went to spray it. I swear it was like a shower. It is not fine spray at all. It was like someone was spraying me with fine shower. Um, I just looked completely wet. So I quickly grabbed the mitt and started rubbing it in. And because it doesn't have any guide color, you don't know where you're putting it. If you saw my arms up here, honestly, they are like, let me show you actually, maybe you will be able to see it. And, uh, mind you, it doesn't look so bad now. Maybe this one is worse. Hmm. It doesn't look so bad now. But yeah, um, hands, as you know, always attract the self tan the mouse because they're quite dry and and I didn't exfoliate before because I didn't expect it to be what it was. It was too late, obviously, when I sprayed myself. Well, I could have gone and washed it off. But anyway, I rubbed it in and it did dry quite fast by then. Went to bed, woke up this morning, shock horror with orange, horrible hands. And I hate that. So my face, when I've done makeup, used to be darker than my hands, now it's the other way around. So, oh, there you can see, can you see that terrible white line going here? Oh yeah, look. So yes, um, the color is quite nice on the red, obviously my hands um, have too much on because it was spraying so much. Um, but the color is quite nice and I, pff, I wouldn't say it's moisturizing. Uh, because the next day uh, my hands felt very very dry and that is the case with a lot of self tans uh, your your skin looks much drier um, after using them but another thing was it went all over my bathroom floor and it says that it won't stain because obviously it doesn't have any guide color but because it's moisturizing my floor was like an ice ring so I had to wash the floor so if you ever did, if you ever bought it, I've got it, get in a bath or in your shower cubicle and do it then. Anyway, disaster, and it wasn't even like three pounds something. Oh, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't like the cheapest and I don't like it. So if you see my orange hands, maybe I stop showing them. That's why they are orange. Okay, so today I have so much to talk about and it's not really necessarily about any products. Um, I had uh, bought a few things but I don't really want to talk about them because I haven't used them for a long time and I don't have much to tell you about it. I probably will do a haul because if you follow me on uh, Snapchat, you know my husband um, is in Dallas at the moment. It was a very last minute, um, we found out a week before he went that he was going, he went down business. Um, and of course I've sent him with a list for Sephora and um, Ulta. Actually I didn't have many things for Sephora because one I, I thought, God, if he sees everything that I want he will think I'm crazy. And two, I want to... Um, when we come to New York in July, I want to be able to actually go and choose my own stuff and, and you know, have a look. So, um, but I wanted some things from all time. It's not much makeup, it's things that I've been using that are hard for me to get, like CeraVe. I know I can get those things on Amazon, but they take very long, long time to come. 
and obviously they are overpriced because they still come from America. Uh, why am I telling you this? Oh, okay, so maybe I do like a whole video. I don't know if you like whole videos. Um, I, I'm not that keen on whole videos. I prefer like a whole with reviews, so I know I do it. I show you now. Now, I show you stuff that I bought in my Monday's videos. I don't do many uh, dedicated whole videos. I, I don't think they have any purpose really, but um, anyway, or maybe I show you all this in the next Monday, or I won't show you at all. I just talk through things while I'm using them. I don't know, never, never mind. One thing I wanted to show you is, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen it, is I bought another one of those um, brush trees, you know, um, from eBay, from China. They are absolutely wonderful quality, very steady. And I bought one, you might remember, a long time ago, like this, and this one's got like different, um, the stand is here, I won't be putting it up. Um, this one has like different sizes holes, so it's, it's quite good for bigger brushes. It has uh, 12, like this in the corners for smaller brushes, but I always notice that when I do all my eye brushes, I didn't have enough small holes. I would I would have to stick like, you know, five in one big hole and they would be falling out. So I thought I really want one that has just small holes for eye brushes because I probably wash them the most. Um, and when I do them, I do them all in one go. So this was brilliant. I mean, it's so cheap because, you know, the original, I think it's Benjabel tree is quite expensive um, and you can get these on eBay everywhere. I, I will put you the direct link uh, to this particular one that I bought so if you want to uh, see it but you know if you just uh, put in eBay search br brush drying tree there is millions of them that come out and I don't know that was like five pounds or something like this so I think they are brilliant. So I wanted to show you that um now um a lot of you have asked me to update you on the case you know remember that video that this certain company wanted to sue me uh if you're new to my channel and you don't know what i'm talking about i might put the link below i haven't been even responding to comments on that video anymore because as you know i just wanted to forget it i removed the videos and um, but so many of you been asking what happened with it so I quickly tell you so after I made this video uh, a lot of you probably noticed that the woman the owner of the company came onto um, that video and was actually uh, leaving comments under that video she was arguing in comments with my subscribers um, so in the end I just blocked her I blocked her from my channel but because do you remember a lot of you a lot of you there were so many comments saying oh you know don't worry email is nothing you would receive you know letter through the post if it was legit and I think because you all said that <laughs> and she must have read it I got the letter so about I don't know three weeks after that video or maybe even longer I received a letter in my PO box from some lawyer. It didn't look very professional. Um, something again about trademark, trademark copyright in there. I'm using her name. I mean, how can I not use the company name when I'm talking about the product that is called that name? Is beyond me. Anyway, I got that letter. I completely ignored. Uh, of course, they didn't ask me to you know they were saying again about if I don't do whatever and they, they take me to court I completely ignored it because I was done with it I um, I removed the videos just for peace of mind I told you before that if I had the time and money I would take them on because it was so so um, 
unjust and not fair but I didn't want to have problem with YouTube because you know even if I didn't remove the videos because she complained to YouTube YouTube probably would block them like they did in the US anyway so like I, I thought I was done with it so I didn't reply to that letter and about two weeks after that I got an email from that lawyer I think um, and it was the subject was warning and he said something, you know, we've sent you a letter, we haven't heard back. So I was so annoyed by then. So I just emailed him back and I said, the videos has, have been removed six weeks ago, as you asked. Um, and I said, please stop writing to me, contacting me. Otherwise, I will take a legal action against you for harassment. And that was it. I never heard another word so let's hope this is over but so that that's the little update on that okay another thing is I want to apologize uh, I want to apologize if you follow me on Instagram I reposted this I don't know what it was this notification saying that um, because I think the Instagram got updated now or something and he said that if you want to keep receiving my instas you have to click you know on um, the little three dots and turn on notifications so you keep getting my instas and and I did it because when I was looking through Instagram everybody was doing it and then someone left a comment saying Instagram tweeted that this is not true so and I know how annoying it is because I turned on some notifications and then your phone does not stop bleeping because it notifies you every time if someone who you turned the notifications for posted something on Instagram. But you can easily go back there and turn it off. So I'm sorry I didn't, I don't want you to think that, you know, I wanted you to do it because I want you to see all my Instas. But I just thought that that was the case, that if you follow someone and don't turn their notifications, you will never see my post. So uh, you are free to go and turn off these blinking notifications because it drives me mad. It just goes bleep, bleep, bleep every time someone posts post something. But I thought it was a genuine thing, so. Okay, my war on anti-aging. I'm so going for it, honestly. So, You've seen my video on Derma Roller, it was horrific. I absolutely hate myself without makeup. You don't know, it's strange because I will not go out without makeup. I don't think even my neighbors see me without makeup and only probably two friends. And here I am sitting in front of thousands of you <laughs> without makeup. I hate it. I mean, I, it's not that I hate my skin. I think my skin is fine. It's the discolorations, as you've seen. You know, I, um, I don't have even lovely skin. That's why I love foundation so much. So I can cover all that stuff. My nose is red. You know, I've got melasma spots everywhere. So I absolutely hate it. Anyway, um, with all that, I came across, um, well, I know of Mar Mary Ellen or Mary Ellen uh, channel and I will leave you the link to that specific video. So her channel is called Mary Ellen After 60 and she just did, just a few days ago, a video on her 18 months update on using Retin-A. Oh my God. If you thought that Angie Hot and Flashy had a good results, but Angie obviously is younger than Mary Ellen, um, wait till you see that. And she only uses Retin-A. She's been using Retin-A for 18 months. She's using Dermarola, but I think she's only been using her Dermarola on her mouth. Um, and she uses a very, very simple, inexpensive skincare. And I cannot believe the difference. It looks almost as she, as if she had a facelift. And she definitely hasn't. She's a nurse, I think, or was a nurse. 
Um, I mean, her face looks so radiant. It looks lifted. Her eyes look less hooded. And you've noticed that Angie, um, Angie's hoods improved a lot since she's been using Retin-A as well. I suppose it all tightens the skin around. I hope it does it for mine. Um, yeah, so amazing. And I mean, Angie encouraged me to use Retin-A by seeing her results. But after seeing Mary Ellen's results, I'm definitely, definitely sticking with it. I've been using my Retin-A now every three days. Sometimes I think I even do it every other day. I don't write it anymore, but I'm just now going by my skin. So I will use it every three days. If I use it a bit often and I see a bit more peeling, then I will back off, you know, do it that way till I can use it every single day. Um, I must say my peeling hardly I've had very very tiny peeling so um, I might start doing it now every other day and see how I go and of course I will carry on with my derma roller I probably will do that every two to three weeks I'm also using something else which I completely forgot about it's a um, infrared light device um, I've shown you this like almost a year ago and I forgot all about it this company sent me that and I used it for about two weeks and then I forgot all about it so I got that out you can use that every day and um, I probably will do like a dedicated video again about my war on aging um, and I will then show you all, all all, everything that I'm using now, my skincare routine, because I sort of have it worked out now. Whereas before, I would try a bit of this, a bit of that. You know, I didn't really have any specific uh, skincare routine. And please, before I get comments about that, I should be just happy that I'm still alive. That there is nothing wrong with aging. I never said that there is anything wrong with getting older. I love being older. I would never want to be 20 years old again. I love myself now. I don't have any really hang-ups about myself. Well, apart from, you know, little niggly bits because my um, I get grey hair in my eyebrows or my eyes are drooping, whatever. But getting older does not bother me. I just don't like looking older. The thing is when young people look at us, you know, they they think of us totally different, you know, that we like don't know anything and, you know, what do we know? We are just old. No one understands that inside and in here, you are exactly the same person you were when you were in your 20s. It's just all this out here that doesn't match what's inside. And, you know, Life is about enjoying yourself and being happy. And if looking younger, looking after your skin and the way you look makes you feel happy, then you will be living more fulfilling, um, happy life. That's my um, philosophy. And, you know, because some people say, oh, you should just, you know, why you don't want to just age like Mother Nature intended? No, I don't want to. You know, looking at myself in a mirror where, with wrinkles, with droopy bits here and there does not make me happy and when I'm not happy no one else around me is happy and my life I don't live my life to to the full if you know what I mean um so yeah I don't want to hear about uh you know I should be just aging gracefully so that I'm not <laughs> aging gracefully okay so yes, check her channel because I tell you, if you see her results, you will be eating the Retin-A. Of course, I'm joking. I don't mean you should be eating it. <laughs> but um, I always say that about products. If I knew they would help, i eat it. Okay, that reminds me something. After I think I did the video about Dermarola and then I watched Marie Ellen and I, I went to bed and I had this dream, oh, it was so funny. I had this dream that I was um, 78 years old. I don't know why 78, but I was 78, but I look like I look now, okay? And I, the whole dream was just about me walking around. It's almost like I woke up and suddenly realized, realized that I am 78. And I remember saying to everyone and to my husband, looking at myself in the mirror, and I was, can you believe I'm 78, you know? So my whole dream was just being so amazed that I look like this and I'm 78. So 
but it made me very happy. Okay, last thing I want to address is I've had a question under one of my videos and I'm sorry I don't remember your name. What happened, you know, I get um, email notifications on, um, on any comments. I've read the comment and I thought I reply to it when I go to my video manager and I go to my comments where he displays all my comments and I can then reply but I couldn't find it and I don't know sometimes they go into spam if it's someone new or I don't know so I couldn't find this comment but to be honest I thought it would be easy to answer it here anyway because it would be too much, it would be more difficult to explain it by typing. So uh, this lady asked me about um, Fix Plus and other setting uh, makeup sprays. She said um, she doesn't, she's got a big problem with it, that she sees me spraying it all over my face and I just look nice and glowy, whereas she just looks like a big mess and everything is sliding off. Okay, first thing you have to remember, MAC Fix Plus, the name is very misleading. It's not a setting spray. It's not gonna make your makeup stay on longer. Um, it has glycerin in it. It's got moisturizers in it. It's more like a toner and I purely use it. I don't use it every day on every makeup that I use. I only use it if I over powder or if I'm using mineral powder as my foundation because um, you can look a bit powdery and when I spray it and blow dry it, it, it sort of melts the liquid with the powder that it almost turns into a liquid foundation, if you know what I mean. So just because you see me using Fix Plus on certain days, um, doesn't mean I use it all the time and that you should use it over any makeup. Another thing, if you have oily skin already, you shouldn't be using Fix Plus because like I said, it has glycerin in it. So it's very, very emollient, it's moisturizing. So it will make your oils to come out. I think if you want something, so Fix Plus to me is purely to refresh your makeup if it starts lo looking dry. That's the whole point of it. So I don't know, maybe if in, by the evening you're looking a bit dry and you know, parched, your skin looks parched, then spray that on to refresh the makeup, but not to set it. If you want to set your makeup, you need to look at proper uh, setting sprays like the uh, Scandinavia, Scandinavia sprays, they have all sorts of different makeup setting sprays, mattifying, ones that last all night, something like that. But yeah, Fix Plus is definitely not a setting spray that will make your makeup last longer. Sometimes, you know, um, what I don't do anymore, I used to put my makeup on and even if I looked a bit powdery, I would wait a bit because after an hour or two my natural oils would come through and you will look fine. Um, these days I, I tend to spray it straight away but maybe it's because I'm coming to do a video or something, I don't know, because sometimes my makeup can look quite um, greasy uh, after a while. So I think the best thing is to do when you've done all your makeup, wait a bit till your natural oils come through and then see what it looks like. If you're still looking really dry, then maybe spray it on. I just have to change the battery. They don't last long, do they? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the Fix Plus. Yeah, so, so that's it really. And you know, just because something suits me and it's good for you doesn't mean that it's going to be, it's good for me, doesn't mean it's going to be good for you. Um, I right now, my skin is quite normal, I would say, you know, I used to be, I used to have, I used to have dry skin when I was a young girl, sort of dry to combo, to normal, dry to normal. I never had acne, I never suffered with teenage spots, nothing like that because my skin was um, quite normal and dry. Then as I got older, I got really, really oily T-zone. So the rest of my face would be dry to normal and my T-zone would be oily. When I started using Retin-A, my skin got really, really dry. Um, and I suppose this is the time when it, uh, the skin adjusts. And only now, I think I've been using Retin-A for four months now, 
um, only now I've noticed that my oil oilness um, is coming back slightly in my T-zone. So, um, you know, if you start using Retin-A and you experience the dryness, just go with it because you will pass. I mean, um, if you watched my uh, three months update on using Retin-A, I've told you how much I didn't enjoy it, but it's getting better now. So. Um, I don't have so much problem with it anymore. The first three months, I would say, are the most challenging as your skin is adjusting to it. And also with the Fix Plus, like I said, it depends what um, what makeup you're using. If you're not using, if you're using a quite luminous foundation, moisturizing foundation, then you don't need to put the Fix Plus on at all. Um, you know, maybe if you're using very thick full coverage foundation and then you powder it and you're looking quite mask-like, then try to use it. But um, yeah, rem just remember it's not a setting spray. It's not something that is going to prolong and set your makeup. Think of it as it's going to melt your makeup. So if it needs melting, use it. If it doesn't, don't use it. Um, sorry I'm a bit all over the place because I don't have any structure today to this video. Um, I didn't want to show you um, any products. I have got some products like I said but I want to do like separate reviews for them because there is a lot of information I want to tell you so um, you know these videos are long anyway so I didn't want to do that. So I'm a bit unstructured today. Um, so I want to go back uh, to why I didn't want to do video last Monday as well and oh I felt so awful I almost thought I'm gonna give up YouTube and it wasn't because something happened to me so what happened I was I can't even remember whose video I was watching and sometimes I look through the um, comments and someone put this thing about some sort of blog or website um, anyway I went to this website and oh my god it's a I'm not going to tell you what it is I don't want to give it any advertisement because I feel it's disgusting it's a website where they basically bash all YouTube people why what is it i just do not understand especially for women my age and older i mean for god's sake we're not saving the world here we are community that just enjoys nice things makeup clothes and we like to share it and i mean what are we doing that is so bad that people have to tear you apart it was disgusting and I mean they go to such lengths they try to find out about your things about your husband about your children about your past what you did it's horrific and I'm thinking why I mean I was I was honestly traumatized after it I was traumatized and I thought I understand if we were running for president and trying to change the world <laughs> we're talking about makeup I mean come on it's you know it's nothing important or life-saving or life-changing it's just our hobby it's it's something we enjoy and to be ripped apart for that so anyway I was so I was seriously traumatized by it all and it wasn't even about me it wasn't about me it was other people um, that I thought I don't know if I can do this because if that happened to me would I be able to cope with it I think I can but not at that scale you know I can cope with the odd bad comment here and there um, but if you know that you're sitting here not doing anybody any harm and you get that um, but on a happier note what I do then I go to my own comments and I read all of you that support me that enjoy my channel 
after you've experienced or read something so horrible like this and then you go and read all this lovely stuff and you are always so supportive like with that lawsuit you know you've been so supportive and you probably don't even realize how much that means to me and how much that helps because you only see me here when I'm usually happy and and you know and there are things that that I go through that upset me but I'm not gonna sit here and cry um, you know in front of the camera and this is supposed to be a happy place but you probably don't realize how much your comments your support means not just to me to any other youtubers that you give your love to um, it's very important and like I always said I might not answer every single comment um, because when the video comes out that's when you get the most comments and if I happen to sit down to my computer after I've posted the video I might answer I don't know hundred of the first comments but then you start getting comments from your previous videos and it's very difficult but trust me I read all your comments and I appreciate every single one of them so don't get discouraged if I don't always answer your comment. I still love getting them and it's very important for me to, to get them and get your feedback. Anyway, this was so much talking about nothing really that I think I will leave it here. Today is Saturday. Um, I wasn't going to be um, recording on Monday because my husband is coming back for, on Monday so um, I didn't want to you know spend all day here tomorrow I've got things to do with Max so I thought I sit down uh, here today and do this video okay my lovelies uh, thank you so much for watching um, love you all and I hope you have a wonderful week I probably will have some videos coming out but I will see you on Monday bye